Greetings gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Reading Starfarers, and welcome to another episode of Starfield. I'm Cobalt Thorium. Does this guy live in here? In this episode, we are trying to find Nyx. Probably, probably up this catwalk thing. So that he can decrypt the uh, slate of stuff that we copied from Laru's computer. See if she's the mole. I don't think she is, and if she is, she's probably got a good reason. So you take care of the right people, they take care of you. So you made it. Guess Ryujin's security really is slipping. Ryujin's security is the best there is. I'm just that good. Or it surprises me that someone hasn't already taken them down. I'm gonna go with the stop one. <laughs> just brimming with confidence, aren't you? But I've seen your work in the Trade Tower, so I'll at least give you some credit. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. Alright, we're waiting. Typical sort of, like, movie-style hacker lair. The program I gave you to run on Ularu's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything, so let's take a look. I don't Ularu trust this guy. Some impressive encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption. This should just take Looks a moment. Looks like the Matrix. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. All right. I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. <laughs> I'll, let, I'll get the slate to Dalton right away, or don't keep me in suspense, share the knowledge, or I'll be sure to let Dalton know you violated your agreement. <laughs> I like that bottom one. Go ahead. I'd like to see him do anything about it. Besides, he knows it's not a risk where I'm concerned. Why? As for you, you may want to loosen up a little. Straight-laced little whistleblowers have a tendency to either wind up dead or disappear. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. I don't trust you, man. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else he has to say. Then we'll check out the hacker hideout and then we'll go return the slate. Shouldn't you be on your way back to Dalton? How can we even trust if you aren't manipulating the files yourself? Hey, I have a reputation to live up to here. The moment I start giving misinformation is when I get tossed off the platform. Tampering with these files doesn't benefit me at all. I screw Rujin, I screw Bayu, who I also work for. I screw Bayu, I screw myself. How accurate is this evidence of yours? It's dead on if you want hard evidence. Dalton's problem, and yours, I imagine, is that the people you're dealing with at Ryujin in that operations department are almost at my level. When it comes to data manipulation and covering tracks, they're royalty. The real question is how much of the evidence can be believed. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I want to do that again. It's dead on if you want hard evidence. Dalton's problem, and yours, I imagine, is that the people, the people you're, you're dealing, dealing with, with at Ryujin Ryushin. in that operations department are almost at my level. Okay. When it comes to data manipulation and covering tracks, they're royalty. 
The real question is how much of the evidence can be believed. So we have evidence that we just went through a great deal of difficulty to collect. And now he's basically saying you can't trust it because they're really good at covering their own tracks and sort of like planting evidence and stuff like that. In which case, what was the point of any of this? <laughs> so, all right. Uh, any ideas on how Imogen may have pulled this off? Imogen's real good. I worked with her a lot in her days as a field op back when she was Alara's protege. According to the data, you can bet the relationship between those two is the key. If anyone could get Alara to make the slightest slip, it'd be Imogen. Well, this is thrilling. Have fun dealing with Ryujin security. So... Ryujin... Wait, Imogen is working with Ulara to undermine Ryujin? What is going on? Okay, um, did he give us something that we can look at? Oh, wrong thing. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Get, get out of here. Inventory. New items. Encrypted files. We cannot equip. Okay. All right, all right. Um, let's check out this uh, hacker utopia this guy has set up. Kind of cool. I like the vibe. Wow, he sleeps <laughs> he sleeps on the floor in like this like on this like foam sheet in the corner. That's terrifying by the way. All right, so yeah, I mean, it's it's very stereotypical where he's got all this like really fancy, expensive looking gear, but he obviously doesn't take really great care of himself. Bit of a flutter, klutz, doesn't clean up very well, sleeps on the ground, but he's got great computers. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a very stereotypical trope, right? It's been done to death. Anyway, let's head back to Ryujin Tower. Be like, yo, we were able to break in. No problem. jump try to jump over the fat lady <laughs> all right don't cause any trouble oh I'm here to cause trouble I'm here to point fingers at Ularu apparently who's the COO I mean, if that's not causing trouble, I don't know what it is. My career will be over if this deal falls through. Ooh. Where's that meeting room? The Eugen CEO is no joke in the boardroom. Hmm. Alright, so we were hanging out here. Where is... Oh, oh... It's all the way down here. Okay, it's in here. Oh, there's no way to get up to that.
Hmm, I wonder what the point of that was. Maybe with a jump pack? Well, whatever. Um... I'm just trying to see what where else we could have gone in that stealth mission. Is this where we came in? Can't even tell. It looks so different with the lights on. Is it done? It is. Mr. Dramatic. I assume you are successful. I didn't get any incident reports last night, so I applaud your work. Nix decrypted them without issue. Here's what he gave me. Or, it was a success, but you definitely have some security issues to address. Or, I got the files, but Nix violated the agreement and saw what they contained. Uh, yeah, let's tell. I figured as much. Lucky for us, he doesn't have any motive to use this information against us. Are you sure? Now, you can probably sell for a lot. see what we have here. Hmm. I didn't think it was possible. But someone's been accessing Ularu's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nix was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Benjamin Bayou. What Imogene you... Salzo. Oh, really? Senior operations specialist. And one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this off. So, she was our initial boss here. I don't know if I believe this. This seems like a setup. That can't be right. I don't believe it. Or someone must be paying a lot for her to go against Ryujin like this. Or what motive would Imogen have to steal from Ryujin? Well, the motive could be anything. Credits, grudges, even boredom. I don't believe it personally. She seems pretty dedicated. Well, she has the means and access. But things are rarely so cut and dry. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. You have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. I'll keep a close eye on her. Or, she wouldn't dare to try anything with me around. Or, you don't want to get her yourself. Or what if she runs? We'll go with... You don't want to get her yourself? I just want to avoid a scene. Sending you keeps the rumor mill at bay. What if she runs? If she runs, the guilt will be apparent. And you'll have no choice but to dispose of her. As much as I'd like you to subdue her and bring her in, Imogene would never allow it. She knows what fate lies ahead for those who betray this corporation and get caught. Um, I'm going to say, I'll keep a close eye on her. Good. When you're dealing with corporate workers, discerning the truth from the lies is the hardest part. Really? We only got 250 experience for that? Seriously? Come on. Stop being so stingy. That was a lot of work. This deal could be huge for my company. Incredible. I can't believe we made it up here. Could you just sit down? I'm nervous enough for this presentation without you fidgeting. Oh, relax. You'll be fine. Oh, relax. You'll be fine. I thought it was going to be this hey person. 
That was one of the, the f people that I thought I better do might this be. Right. I don't want you go breathing down my neck about it. Or one of the people that we met in here. Or the guy that we met up there. I mean, there are so many possibilities. Try not to harass my text too much. They have work to do. Let me guess. Looking for Imogene? I'm sure you can tell by now. She isn't here. Which is a shame, since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. Uh-oh. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. Like how you avoid the interview process? Or when did you last see Imogene? Uh, I don't know who this person is. But I like this. I like this, uh, this answer. Like how you avoid the interview process? There are work skills and there are life skills. I can't help it if I have both. Would you last see Imogene? She hasn't stepped into the office since the maintenance closure. Probably abusing her paid time off again. I know for a fact she doesn't have any external meetings or business trips. I bet she's dead. I need you to use your resources and tell me where Imogen is. Or I don't blame her. Desk work feels like a waste of time. Um... Yeah, let's say, let's use the top one. I need you to use your resources and tell me where Imogen is. I'm not even sure that's any business of yours. But I do enjoy keeping close tabs on my counterpart. Dare I ask why you need to know? I'm not here to gossip. Just tell me where Imogen is. Or you don't get to ask anything. Oof. Or it's confidential. Take it up with Dalton. I don't remember who this person is. Let's say you don't get to ask anything. Oh, so it's that intriguing. All right, I won't pry, but this will be a fun distraction for the day. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. Frankie's Grab and Go is a front for Sioka Syndicate? Or what do you think she's doing in syndicate territory? Or I don't need anyone to sign off. Or all right, I'll speak to Dalton about it. Uh, what do you think she's doing in syndicate? Well, let's go. Let, yeah, let's just ask about Frankie's grab and go first. Is there an echo in the room? Yeah, Frankie's is a front. Crap convenience store on the outside, high tech hideout on the inside. Of course, the only people that really know that are Ryujin Bayou and the syndicate itself. What do you think she's doing in Syndicate territory? Your guess is as good as mine. But she's up to something. I could tell she was trying to cover her tracks. But this is my job. And there's a reason I'm in charge of the technicians here. I don't need anyone to sign off. Yeah, because bosses love it when you go around them. Have fun with that. Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. You know what I'm going to do. Oh. Detected by whom? Yeah. Announcements in the Apollo PTO. Yep. And the Apollo privacy policies. Yep. Sinia Obram security updates completed. The maintenance has been completed and the building operations may resume. Sinea Obram, uh, network security, Ryujin. 
Okay, pending approvals. Okay, so those announcements. Pending approvals. Uh, ARS, yeah, I mean, these seem... These monikers, these des designators look like they do mean something, but I'm not sure what they are. Uh, okay, so AR must be a class recovery. Risk low. Technician P. Jaziri. Description confirmed reports of newly developed grav drive tech. Requesting recovery for comparisons. B class recovery. H. Rafiq. Description Intel received on accuracy improvements for laser sight tech. Current Intel estimated to be 94.5% accurate. K. McDaniel. A class security risk high. What was the other one? High risk high. Okay. Received reports of R821 working on a new security prototype. Current Intel estimated to be 33.6% accurate. Needs security access to confirm reports to determine if recovery assignment is needed. So we have A-class ARC. Dis uh, risk is low. Production impairment required for W-118. Which is not... Oh, well, it's the, the bottom of the list. All right. Quarterly reviews. April Sweeney. S title, Senior Operative, Field Agent Status Active. Strengths, excellent at high-level in information retrieval. Capable of taking on multiple roles when needed. Needs improvement. Constantly demanding time from technicians. Dislikes paperwork resulting in consistent in consistently late deadlines. Interesting. Is this really a negative? <laughs> Esteban Verdin Auclair. Operative field agent, stats active. Strengths. Strong stealth and infiltration skills. Very tech savvy. Needs improvement. Not good with people at all. MJ Aisha. Uh, Aisha? Senior Operative, Field Agent, Status Deep Cover. Strengths, Excels at Long-Term Infiltration, Always Remains True to Plan. Needs Improvement, Not Applicable. Interesting. And Blake Vance, Senior Operative, Field Agent, Status Hiatus, Strengths, Excels at Long-Term Infiltration. He's probably still there. Uh, excellent at Last Minute Improvisation. Needs Improvement, Prone to Emotional Attachment. Ah, he's very much like a James Bond type spy. So that's that. Hmm. Okay, so we can't get into the last bit. Nobody saw us hack that computer, so everybody should be. My next assignment can't start soon enough. So everybody should be none the wares. Ah, so this is that lady. Forget. Was that one of the people who are in the boardroom? Hmm. Let's try to talk to her once more. I'm serious about talking to Dalton. The man might lose his mind if he went into Frankie's without permission. All right, we'll go. Can you tell me more about the Sioka Syndicate? The Syndicate is probably the biggest gang here in Neon, controlled by Benjamin Bayou himself. Of course, that's not a widely known fact. Most of the Syndicate only know him as an anonymous figurehead. We've used them on occasion ourselves. They're helpful when it comes to tying up loose ends or if you need a few extra guarantees. How do we get to Frankie's grab and go? Head to Bayou Plaza and go down the alley by Enhance. Once you see sleep crates, Hang a left, and you're there. Oh, that place. Okay. Uh, besides pissing him off, what would happen if I didn't tell Dalton? If you dove right into the syndicate's hideout, those consequences are going all the way up to Misako. They aren't just some random street gang like the Strikers or Disciples. 
They have ties to Bayou, which means they have ties to us. Why are you keeping an eye on Imogen? I think of it as a hobby. What better way to keep my skills sharp than tracking Imogen? But before you go getting jealous, you should know by now that my team keeps an eye on pretty much everyone, especially those within operations. What do you expect when you specialize in sabotage? Huh, okay. Isn't sabotage what you specialize in too? Touche. To be frank, I don't expect anyone here to trust me either. And if they did, they wouldn't last long. Trust can lead to a carelessness that we can't afford. Do you think Imogen feels the same way about you? Of course she does. Because she's good at her job. That's why I respect her. All right. So I can say it's the right call. I don't trust anyone here either. Or it's a shame you don't trust your fellow employees more. Or I think that at least Imogen would be trusted here. Well, I mean, clearly this has shown that that is not the case. That everybody is a potential liability. But maybe they shouldn't be. But this girl will respect us more if we say that we don't trust anyone here. So let's go. Now that's what I like to hear out of our operatives. Huh. All right. Kind of an abrupt end. I'm a little busy right now. All right, so I'm going to go up <coughs> go upstairs and talk to a uh, security chief. Maybe it's not the right call. Like if it went all the way up to um to the CEO lady there, we might get credit for the entire thing as opposed to sharing the credit, but at the same time I feel like the risk is just too high. No Imogene, I see. Could she really be on to us already? Yuko said she's last seen on Frankie's grab and go. Or she's on the run, hiding out with the syndicate. Or how would Imogen know she's a suspect? Well, unless she's guilty. A good question. But with her abilities and connections, the possibilities are too many to speculate on right now. We need to find her first and address that issue afterward. Yuko said she was last seen in Frankie's grab and go. That's what I'm going to go with. Of course, Yuko would know. If Imogene's with the Syndicate, I can't just send you after her. You'll need to speak with Benjamin Bayou. We have to make sure he's aware of the situation. If we're lucky, he may even help us get to Imogene. Why do I need to speak to Bayou first? Or I can get Im to Imogene myself. I don't need permission or I'll make sure he's aware and get his cooperation. Okay. Why do I need to talk to Bayou first? We'll ask that. Bayou owns the Sioka Syndicate. For you to walk in there without discussing it with him first could be seen as a violation of our business relationship. Um... Yeah, let's try to be team players on this. Um, I'll make sure he's aware and get his cooperation. Good, because without it, this adds a complexity that we do not have time for. Head over to the Trade Tower and be discreet. Let Bayou know that you're there on Ryujin's behalf. He may ask for credits or even a favor. Just give him what he wants. Whatever it takes. I'll get to Imogen. We're easy for you to say. You're not the one that has to do anything. <laughs> or I have limits. What kind of favors are we talking about? Let's go with that. Uh, it shouldn't be for anything unfamiliar. Bayou is a businessman. Any favor he may request wouldn't be far off from the assignments you have already completed here. <laughs> oh, so just like breaking the law more. More stealthy, <laughs> sneaky work, but... Uh... I'm going to say easy for you to say you're not the one that said do anything. 
If you think my job has been easy since learning about the Mole, let me educate you. We've been working around the clock on security upgrades, rerunning background checks, and combing through timelines. Just be sure to bring her back here in one piece. If she's truly the Mole, she'll have a lot to answer to. If she resists or tries to run, we have no choice but to take it as an admission of guilt. I'm afraid you'll have to dispose of her. Understood. We can't allow a traitor to run free. Or, if Imogen's guilty, she'll pay with her life. Or, killing her seems hasty. She may not have acted on her own. That's a good point. In fact, I mean, she clearly didn't act on her own because she had to have, like, handlers and stuff like that. Maybe they aren't in the company, but... Or, uh, isn't that a little extreme? can we get law enforcement involved? Questions first. He's going to say no, obviously, but... Matters like these are handled within the corporation. The information we're dealing with is too sensitive for law enforcement, and their security leaves much to be desired. It wouldn't be long before the information was either leaked to the press or sold to yet another competitor. All right, I'm going to say, killing her seems hasty. She may not have acted on her own. The risk of Imogene continuing to operate as a traitor is too high. If we don't dispose of her now, she could cause a great deal of harm to this company. She knows the consequences of betraying Ryujin, which makes her dangerous. If the situation does take a turn for the worst, I only ask that you perform a thorough search for any evidence she may have in her possession. I trust you won't let your past relationship cloud your judgment. All right. Let's get out of here. This could be the most important. We we'll go talk to Benji. Benji Ba. Thanks again for your assistance. I trust you. Wait, you wait. What did we do for you? There's always work to be done. Pace yourself, but make it a fast one. Hmm. Until next time. I've lost track of all the characters here. There's so many. And a lot of them have, like, names that are, like, kind of foreign, so it's a little bit difficult to, like, keep them, keep track of them, you know? In my own games, I try to make names, like, very, very specific as to, like, who, who they are. Like, uh... I call it like Pulp Fiction names, like if you think of Dick Tracy or something like that, like they're very, very uh, names that can only really be associated with a particular person, like Babyface Malone or, or whatever, and he's like literally got a baby face, stuff like that. I mean, that's going a little too far, but... Looks like we're going over here. Nope. Okay. I suppose we're on the wrong side. People joke. Say those Varun zealots worship a snake. It's some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it real? Hell if I know. But they think it is, and that makes them dangerous. I hope we run across the snake at some point. I don't know, in some ways it feels like we're getting towards the end game, but we still haven't even explored like half of the galaxy. I don't recall sending for anyone. What do you want? To slap you. <laughs> Dalton Fine sent me. 
like you have permission to enter the Syndicate's hideout. Or I'm only here to give you a heads up on Ryushin's behalf. I'm heading into the Syndicate hideout. Or we have a good working relationship with her. Or you have a good working relationship with Ryushin Industries, right? It's been a very beneficial partnership. As long as we continue to look out for our mutual interests, I can't complain. Okay, I'm going to ask permission and not just inform him. I don't want to be too rude. Or respect his position in Neon. Delta Fine sent me. I'd like your permission to enter the Syndicate's hideout. No. You can always make time when it comes to an old friend. So, what would be the reason? I may consider Ryujin an ally, but Dalton especially knows I don't give anything blindly. We're after a suspect who fled to the Syndicate to hide. We're taking up with Dalton to fi fines. This is all I have time for. Um, we'll be respectful once again. We're, go uh, we're after a suspect who fled to Syndicate to hide. As long as it doesn't involve the Syndicate members themselves, I'll tell you what. I'll make sure the Syndicate lets you in hassle-free, provided you do a little something for me. Sure. Um, I'm only here as a courtesy, not to do any favors, or I'm all ears, or I think the mutual benefit should be enough. There might be a mission here, so let's say I'm all ears. Excellent. One of the syndicate leaders, Kumio, has a slate with some information on it that's better off in my hands. Agree to bring it to me, and you've got yourself a deal. Slate will be in your hands in no time, or fine if it makes this job any easier, I'll get the slate, or like I said, I don't do favors. Maybe this guy will give us some more missions, so let's be nice to him. The slate will be in your hands in no time. Ryujin's got themselves a real keeper. Check in with Ms. Moore at Frankie's. I'll send word along that you're to be expected, so she shouldn't give you any trouble. Fair warning. The Syndicate should let you search any common areas. But if Kumiho catches you snooping around her own quarters for that slate, I'll just say, be prepared for some hostilities. All right. Sounds like we've got a couple things stacking up in the Syndicate's um, headquarters here. There's, oh, there's the button. You know, it's a really small nightclub for like this famous club across like the entire universe. Private sector. Well, that's where the real money's at. Slap. I don't know if these guys are going to like me. I think I killed a whole bunch of them before. Alright, there's Frankie's. I should probably say it before and in case we get caught. So let's go ahead and do that. And actually, maybe I should wrap up the episode here. So we're like right at the beginning of something. It's sort of a logical place to... I don't actually like the company. I just like the logo. It's kind of a logical place to, to uh, split up the mission. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have, please like, maybe comment, maybe share, maybe subscribe. New episodes every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. and Canada. I'm Cole Bothorium, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.